Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, Enabling Yahoo Web Analytics. Yahoo Web Analytics beta release is available with Merchant Solutions Standard, Professional, and Yahoo Store plans. This feature is not included with Merchant Solutions Starter plans. Yahoo Web Analytics is being released to stores in stages. You will know that Yahoo Web Analytics has been installed into your store when a new Yahoo Web Analytics section and Getting Started link is visible in Store Manager at the bottom of the Promote column. Once you see the Getting Started link, as you do on our screen, you can enable Yahoo Web Analytics. So let's get started with enabling Yahoo Web Analytics by clicking on the Get Started link. The next page will take us to the Terms of Service. Once we have read over the new terms and conditions, we will check off I have read and I accept these terms and conditions and click continue. The next page will give us more information about Yahoo Web Analytics, including how enabling analytics tracking will help us to learn more about our visitors. Where did they come from? Where did they leave our site? And so much more. Click the Enable Analytics Tracking button and you will be asked to confirm your selection. Click Continue. The server is now being updated and we have analytics installed on our Yahoo Store pages created in Store Editor as well as our checkout pages. The next screen congratulates us for successfully enabling Yahoo Web Analytics on our website. However, if you scroll down just a little bit, it also lets us know that in order to really complete this process, we have to update our privacy policy as well. We need to inform our customers about the information that Yahoo is collecting. So what we need to do is we need to highlight and copy the information that is found in the box with the scrolling bar on the right hand side. To do this, we're going to put our cursor inside of the box and notice it highlights everything within that box. We right click and select copy. Now we're going to go into our privacy policy page in Store Editor to update our privacy policy page. So to do that, we're going to go into Store Manager and next we're going to go into Store Editor. From here, our particular store goes into the content section. So we're going to click on Index and then we're going to click on the Find button. We're going to put in the ID of our privacy policy page. For us, we use the standard page that Yahoo comes with for the privacy policy page, which is privacy policy, and we click on the find button. We're going to go ahead and click on the edit button to edit this page. We wanted this notice at the very top of our privacy policy information. So what we're going to do is place our cursor at the very beginning, right click, and click paste. Now we're hitting the enter button twice, so this way it looks like our next bit of information is creating a brand new paragraph, and we can kind of take a look at it now. We'll click the update button and give our page a look at and make sure everything looks the way that we're wanting it to look on our privacy policy page. Once we make sure everything looks the way that we are wanting it to look for our customers, we're going to click on the Publish button. And we want to publish this page so this way we can give the information to Yahoo to let them know that we have updated our privacy policy page. Now we had quite a bit of publishing to do, so we're going to go ahead and just fast forward all the way over to the end and towards the end what we did is we opened up a second tab and we opened up our privacy policy page in that second tab. Once our website completely published we went ahead and refreshed our privacy policy page and made sure that the new information for the Yahoo Web Analytics was right there on the page just like we put it in.
and we copied the URL for our privacy policy page. And now we need to go back into Yahoo Web Analytics and tell Yahoo where they can find this information. And if you did not leave your Yahoo Web Analytics page open, it's no problem. It's easy to go back to where you need to be. You go back into Store Manager, you click on the Advanced Options, and we're scrolling to the bottom, and we just paste in our URL and click the Submit link. And it goes ahead and tells us your link has been submitted, but you also want to understand that Yahoo is going to review this information on a regular basis. So you want to make sure to keep that information in there and click on that continue button. Now on this page, you can also create custom tracking codes for other pages, maybe that you've built in um, web hosting. Um, you can also exclude pages from being tracked as well. That's a whole other issue that we're not going to go into at this time. However, the great part is you have Yahoo Web Analytics installed. You can immediately click on the store manager, click on analytic reports, and you're going to see the same thing we see the first time. There's no data available. However, the coolest part of Yahoo Web Analytics is that it updates in real time. So depending on your store's traffic, you can come back in a few hours and see new data. If you have an extremely busy store, you may be able to come back in 10 minutes and see new data. Either way, there is so much you can learn about your visitors and your website with Yahoo Web Analytics, and OneChoice will be bringing you more education in the near future, so come back soon.